This is Matthew from Vice's Brooklyn office. China's tradition of insect eating is far from mainstream, but recently there's been a resurgence in the culture. Vice China explores this peculiar industry. This is What We Buy, Bug Eating Industry, part one. Hey, it's, hey, it's Josh. I'm about to go into a wasp habitat. Shriva. Yunnan province is the spiritual home of insect eating in China, and the area, which borders Vietnam, Laos, and Myanmar, is almost as famous for edible bugs as it is for tea and wild mushrooms. The area's subtropical climate means you can pretty much grow anything here. Pretty busy scene. There's a huge variety of fruit, different kinds of eggs, vegetables, wild mushrooms. Oh, there are actually some, some little insects here. Yeah. Insects are kind of treated between being a meat and a vegetable. They're part of the land. So traditionally, people have eaten a lot of insects. Yeah,你再这里都有什么虫子？呃，就是椰子虫。嗯，呃，这个是风油，还有蚂蚱。哇，一大块蚂蚱。对，这个是，呃，这个是蛋黄，也是蚂蚱，这是苹果不一样。
那昆虫都会有什么营养呢？食用昆虫呢，它主要的营养成分、营养元素呢是蛋白质，并且这个蛋白质呢是是那个脂肪含量很少的蛋白质。这个昆虫呢，除了蛋白质以外呢，它还有很多活性的营养物质，能够增加、促进人体的，比如说免疫力的提高。只不过是现在接受。昆虫食品接受昆虫这个药群体还不多，总是社会上的，特别是大城市的好多人，哎，你们边疆野人吃不起肉的，才吃这个，是这个是误会，一种误会，一种很粗浅的一些想法了嘛？啊，那是不是现在中国使用昆虫是不是在一个就那种加工现代化的一个阶段？还没有到这个阶段。它没有形成一个食用昆昆虫的品牌，就像我们这边的老干妈豆豉一样啊，就是哎，比如说郭教授呼风服用，人家一听郭教授呼风服用，那就哎就大量来买，听起来蛮不错的。哎，对，我现在还是搞不太明白为什么昆虫会这么贵，因为它食用昆虫，我们养的话呢，它还是要把它放养在野外去，找野生的食物去吃，才能保证它的质量。这样的野生资源呢，它的价格是虽然会降下来一点，但是不会降了很多。好东西是比较值钱的，因为它的价值就在那里。I wanted to see what an insect farm actually looked like, so Professor Guo took me to his wasp farm. 哎，你看，哎，来找我们了。这个是大号，嗯，大号了。嗯，这个外国人是企业大。How how stupid is this? That's I'm not totally clear on that yet. 但是那种小的也不是那么危险吧？啊，这个这种小，现在我们看不出来，没有那么大，它没有那么没没有那么强的攻击力。嗯，那种大的攻攻击力要强一些吗？可以。I kind of feel like I'm getting ready to go dive in. I this is big. He's he looks like a cartoon character. This money is all I brought. This house is all I brought. Come on, Okay. Hey, it's Josh. We're in Yunnan Province, and we're gonna check out a wasp farm. Uh huh. Oh, someone's coming out. Ah, 不是，现在我们过来了，干啥？哎，走。你看这里这个，慢点。就在这里啊。嗯。你好。This is pretty nuts. Like we're just being totally swarmed by insects. Um, they're all over me. They're all over his phone. They're all over the camera. This guy in super high tech gear, which looks much better than what we have, is a. 他在他在做什么？他在把他的蜂蛹取出来，呃，从蜂包里面、蜂巢里面。这个有多危险？这个不穿防风服那就肯定很危险啦、啊。以前的没有防风服的话呢，是用火把飞走的这些蜂子烧死啊。但这个就直接拿走。哎，直接拿了以后呢，这些蜂子也还在着。我们走掉以后呢，这些蜂子又回到这个蜂巢啊，就可持续的起这个蜂蛹啦啊。就这个，真的能赚那么多吗？呃，真的很能赚了。这个一包呢，如果有十斤的话呢，每斤一百元钱就有一千块钱了。啊，餐馆卖出去的时候呢，价格就更高了。嗯、uh, ，You can, I can just feel the bugs like hitting me。啊，哎，拿出来了。Here. 
，拿出指边嘛，给给指怼到颈头了嘛。你看，他现在动作最大，他动作大了，疯子都在他那里。嗯。哎，我们这边动作少了，疯子不在他。你看，哎，把他一层一层的打开。呃，我我，师傅，师傅，你会怕吗？不怕。你这个做了多长时间？将近有四五年的时间了。之前都是做了什么呢？之前都是在做这个葫芦虫和土虫，啊，这个比较赚，比较赚钱吧？赚。那你一个月能赚多少？反正也就是六七千左右。啊，比我们教授还高啦。嗯、It's not just wasps that are big business in Yunnan. I met up with Li Zengliang, a chef that specializes in bugs in Raylin. Mr. Lee took me out to the jungle so that we could dig up some grubs for dinner. Oh, oh. Wow, you're gonna... Just like after a few seconds of digging, basically, we found this, which is a sha chong, a like sand worm type thing. It's quite gross looking, but it can't move fast, at least. It's just like a pale white color, and it just looks like an alien. It was kind of shocking how easy it was to get them out of the mud. Mr. Lee and I quickly gathered a full dish's worth of sandworms, so he took me straight to the kitchen. I kept trying to convince myself they were no different from shrimp, but in reality, they looked like cold, shriveled fingers stuffed with mud. The first step of the preparation is to throw them into boiling water, and then kind of cut open the worm's butt to scoop out all the dirt and digestive tract. So they look a little bit like shrimp because they've got like a few small legs and then kind of like a meaty part. Except what you can't eat is like this sac thing at the bottom, which is full of its intestines and the mud and stuff that it eats. So it is, it is actually pretty gross. It's not that appealing. 他现在把肉从这里这个地方装进去，嗯，啊，这个地方，这个肉肉草，可以再加一点，加一点肉在里边。It's like worm dumplings filled with pork. That good. So I'm at a bug feast with 13 different kinds of insects in Yunnan. Uh, Mr. Li is the chef responsible for all of these dishes. So I see that most of them are actually dead. Yes, yes, yes. Because if the bugs are not dead, you can't eat them alone. If you eat them or eat them, they are soft and soft. There is no one who wants to eat them. But what are the other ones? The first one is to consider the diet. The second one is to be curious. If you eat them, you can eat them for a long time. 大部分都是外来游客，都是考虑就是看到好奇，试一试敢不敢。So time to try it. Kind of just tastes like fried nothing, um, with a slight lemongrass flavor, which is actually pretty nice. 这个是我们今天就挖出来的，呃，沙虫。一般是怎么什么吃法？先先吃头啊，先把头吃了，先把头吃了，啊、哦，然后然后就吃有猪肉的部分。哎，对对，行，好吧。哇，怎么样？嗯、它里面汁也挺多的，一点绵绵的是吧？啊、嗯。就，他头里都都是什么东西？头里面的汁比较多。没错，那个是比较有营养的，还习惯吗？喝酒吧，我想喝酒。哎，这个叫
，不好意思，我记了一下。范立成，范立成，那个，你觉得这个我要一口把它吃掉，还是一口把它吃掉？你你吃不惯吗？吃不惯，我吃不惯。啊、哦，原来是这样，就是连厨师都有一点，就你看着我，那那我现在了解什么表情。You don't want to eat that。像这个虫呢，就点的人比较少，就是因为现在大部分都是野生的，所以这价格这一块呢还是。有有一点高，就这么大的一个虫子宴，大概要花多少钱？一千元左右吧。这个是一个挺有趣的一个矛盾吧，就是说本来吃不起其他的肉的人才会吃到虫子，但是现在它变成一个就更像一个就比较比较高端的一个奢侈品。哎，对对对。For a guy who runs an insect restaurant, Mr. Lee didn't seem too enthusiastic about any of the bug dishes, but he was definitely making good money off them. I can totally accept that bugs are high in protein and amino acids, but pricey bug dishes seem to mainly be a novelty for Chinese tourists. Even in Yunnan, insect eating still isn't mainstream. And while it might be a tradition for some, no one has quite figured out how to make them taste that good yet. Elsewhere in China, entrepreneurs are starting to invest more money into insects as a luxury item and food of the future. It's a tool for yourself to become independent in your food production, to just know for sure what you're eating. They're just like crawling everywhere. It's really warm and hot. It smells like New York City sidewalk. This is Josh. <laughs> That's just demeaning. <laughs>